Hey guys, Tone here, and we are back to this Warhammer Reaping Invisibility Haste Charm run that we've been uh, doing. We just arrived on death 32 out of 40. Uh, there are two previously parts to this, um, so go and check those out if you haven't. And we just used our first telepathy potion, um, really just to make room for Lumen Stones, which we are aiming to grab every single one, and we've gotten all of them on the first five floors of the extended game in Brogue here. And I just wanna, let's just appreciate how awesome telepathy is um, for these deaths in general and for this build in particular. Uh, immediately, you can see that we can see every monster on the map. Um, so traps are threats, but like monsters are like bigger threats. So it almost shows like every threat to you, but you do have to watch out for traps. Now we're using awareness. Um, ring, which helps a lot, a hell of a lot for traps here. Also see that we know a lot of what the level looks like. Um, so this can save us a lot of time exploring and can guide us um, so we don't like run into, you know, dead ends and stuff. Eventually monsters will like wander and it'll help even more. Like I'll, they'll often find the exit or lumen stones for us. Um, that part is really good. And it means that we don't have to try and be permanently invisible. Like, we'll know if a monster can see us or not, more or less, due to telepathy. So that helps a lot for this build. If we had a telepathy charm, it would be absolutely epic on this build. Because so we'd get like 100, like, full uptime on it. It would be great. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. Um, if you guys didn't watch the last episode, I'm kind of just doing some low commentary because a lot of this is kind of similar to what we've been doing. We're just kind of chilling and vibing. Um, so yeah, so let's hang out and have a good time here. One thing I'll note is uh, Revenants have shown up again. For some reason, I forgot that they show up deep here. I was thinking they are only on the early levels. But yeah, they do reappear as parts of these horror Revenant packs. So we're seeing those again, and I hope I don't regret ditching the poison staff, because that was actually really good for dealing with them, especially because we can constantly recharge it with reaping. But also, we were probably going to want to drop that sooner or later anyways for Lumen Stones, so we're probably fine. Uh, one thing, I think there's a small chance an enemy can spawn on a Revenant. Or, I'm sorry, on a Revenant. This is a Revenant. An enemy like a Revenant can spawn on a Lumen Stone. So I'm going to check them all um, when the level starts. It'll say down here, like, on a Lumen Stone. Not to be confused with Luminescent Fungus. Right here. The Golem is sleeping over a Lumen Stone from Death 32. I want to screenshot that to show people as an example. So we already know where one Lumen Stone is, but yeah, we wouldn't have known that unless we hovered over them or if this thing woke up and moved, which could take a while. So it's excellent to know where that is. Okay, well we found one Lumen Stone. We need to find the exit and the other Lumen Stone. There's two on this floor. And we do have Descent to get to the next floor if we don't want to use a, or wait to find the exit. A little trick in our back pocket. Awareness also means we'll find Chasms pretty often that we could take down there ourselves. Oh man. Is an alarm trap good for us? I think we want to activate that. Because then it wakes up all enemies and they start wandering with telepathy. I like that a lot. One potential issue is I think a lich could summon enemies the turn that we use an alarm trap. This is awesome. I'm using the alarm trap. And the thing is, we're invisible, so the stealth range that it adds um, 
it's not going to be as problematic. Oh, and also the Lich's summoning enemies doesn't matter as much now that we have telepathy. So all enemies are now awake. But we're invisible. Stealth range 1. Normally it's like 100 and something right now. And it slowly goes down. This is awesome. So now all these enemies will start wandering around. And they're pretty much going to explore the level for us. Now, I think they might all try to come to this location, which could be a problem. But we'll just see how it goes. I want to try and get over here. It doesn't look like I have a good blink. Oh, maybe we can. Hold up. By the way, having telepathy for these Krakens means we can recharge our charms quite readily off of Krakens. We can do it safely because we can. they won't attack you if you're not in the water, but you can still attack them if you know where they are when you're adjacent. Huh. It doesn't actually wake up everyone. It's news to me. I thought that was a thing. That's fine, though. Alright, we need to re-up in Viz. Haste. You guys know the deal at this point. Careful. If I move right here like I want to, this golem might step onto this fire trap. So I'm going to move up twice. I just want him to go. Okay, he's wandering again. I gotta wake up this guy that's on the Lumen Stone. Oh look, someone found the other Lumen Stone for us. There's some food up here. I don't see an exit yet. See, telepathy is amazing. I think this build benefits from telepathy potions a lot. Because we, we explore fast. And that means the enemies won't explore for us as much, but if we're blinking and haste it all the time, we're really good. Alright, so I need to actually use or drop something for this Lumen Stone now. Um, I think our lowest value things right now are maybe the fire immunity... Teleportation, maybe the Wand of Invis. I should just start using that though before we drop it. So maybe I'll just start using that like very liberally. Maybe even the Regen Ring we could ditch. I'm gonna get rid of the Fire Immunity.
see without telepathy, I'd be quite concerned about being invisible, not being invisible right now. But we know exactly whether that's a threat or not, and it isn't at the moment. So that golem's about to come in, so I'm going to go invisible. Stairs, top right. I'm not even invisible right now. Let's fix that. diagonally here. Let's create one. Finally, <laughs> we made it through. I actually kind of want to recharge. something like that happened before the blinking so the any rock that's adjacent to the stairs is reflective so i actually i hit the stairs and reflected over here that's good to know you could potentially like reflect in the lava i guess if you're not really careful with that dude check this out we already know where both lumen stones are we're, we're probably gonna have well I have to say, we're probably going to have telepathy potions left over if things keep going this way, but I don't want to jinx myself, actually, by saying that. And there's chasm here, so we don't even have to find the stairs if we want to just take the chasm. So what do we drop for this uh, Lumen Stone now? Oh, 
I wonder if the teleportation one is actually better than the invisibility one. At this point. I should at least try to use the invisibility wand, like, once. Let's go ahead and do that. Um... I want to kill this Dark Priestess real quick. Amazing places actually use this wand at the moment. <clears throat> the thing is, it's only a slash two wand, so I'd probably have to use it like more than two times to get, to get into a good place. Looks like I could do something over here. Over here, if I was willing to zap it a lot. Which maybe we do something like that. It's out right now. You know what I will do? Well, I need to recharge in general. <clears throat> ah, we're getting pretty close. Probably recharge at this point. Um, one thing I can do is just keep zapping blink or the invis at a golem, and it might hit me. That's an explosive dragon. We just avoid that. Let's just do it. Oops. All grass. Oh, nice. I'm not toxic anymore. 
Um, damn, that dragon's coming back. Oh, we got the crystal. Perfect. I thought we were going to need more digs. So I'll reflect. Now we should have a high dose of invisibility. wand even has more charges on it just because I need room for lumen stones on this floor can we just take the oh wait that's the okay we don't know where the stairs are yet I guess I'll just hop down Stones. This level will have two lumen stones, and it's the last one that'll have two lumen stones. <clears throat> May as well eat this food. Where do we want to start? A lot of open ground over here. I'm gonna go that way. The exit to the level is probably on this side somewhere because we know the entrance is probably on the left side because we didn't see it on the last map yet. And there's always some distance between the stairs. Although honestly, it can be quite short in rare instances, but I think the exit's more likely to be on the right half of the map. It's also a very open map in general. I'm going to start going this way, and I think we want to try and keep as much uptime on, with haste as we can to prolong this invisibility and this telepathy. Ooh. Oh, that's a juggernaut horror. That's why I didn't kill it. Okay. 
okay, we outrun them by quite a bit. have more health too they might so they should be guaranteed kills for us at this point that is fine though Another juggernaut? Oh shoot, confusion gra gas? That's bad. Fortunately, blinking allows us to just kind of get away from that. We have to wait that out though. And also hope that these guys don't step on it again. It's unlikely. I'm probably supposed to throw something on this until they quit. Awareness failed me. It's all right though. All right, I'm gonna throw a lumen stone on that. Confused monsters will keep stepping on the trap because they're confused. Try and get away from that. And they'll, they'll keep stepping on it, but if there's a, an item on top of it, then nothing will happen. There's, a, there's the other, oh no, this one I threw. So here's the first lumen stone we found on this floor. Okay, no longer confused. charm. I 
I should fight that Kraken. Yeah. There's just not a lot of enemies over here. Okay, at least the golem is. Okay, this is a problem. The Warden of Yendor will step on traps. And there's apparently a paralysis trap somewhere. I'd like to get far from this room if we can. There it is. Completely out of haste. Still, a couple of very low rolls on our our reaping. There, we're almost out of telepathy and invisible here too, which is unfortunate. Concerned about say this lich being able to see us when we lose our visibility here in a second. gives you a better chance of breaking through because it only has a range of two but it'll cut the corners out to make it a walkable path Visible right now. I guess it's time to go invisible. Oh, I don't have haste yet. of golems. Right, we're charged up pretty good here. Where the heck is this last lumen stone?
There must be an explosive monster here, giving out this weird glow. With all these guys. Is it like past you guys? There it is. Looks like a lot of stuff just woke up. So I think I want to do this. Let it all forget about us, hopefully. Yep. And we found the next Lumen Stone. We have to drop something. I'm going to use another Telepathy Potion. him. the stairs down yet. I could use a descent potion to go down. We're gonna need to free up an item slot on the next floor for more lumen stones anyways. But also the stairs can only be in like a few places here. I feel like we may as well just find them. floor for us. Honestly, on this build, Tentacle Horrors might be the thing that we like to see the most. Because we kill them in one hit, they recharge your stuff very well. And they die. Like, the, the golems take multiple hits, so we kind of have to, like, waste turns, like, Losing their aggro after we hit them. It can be a little annoying clogging things up. I could jump from Tentacle Horror to Tentacle Horror. Maybe cracking even a little more than that. any lumen stones yet so there's only one lumen stone on this floor and on the rest of the floors there's three floors with three five with two and the rest only have one lumen stone so it could take you a while to find that last one sometimes
I'm doing a bad job <laughs> on this floor right now, managing my my buffs. Okay, there's the lumen stone and the stairs. Perfect. I actually remember this level now from when I did the mastery dive. This area got really clogged up. There's a there's a screenshot of that in my summary post from the. Uh, we can contest 500. Shoot, that dragon's explosive. I wanted to use it. So is this one? Jeez. The number of enemies with mutations, like explosive, toxic, goes up as you get deeper. You start getting a ton of them. Shoot, I'm not invisible or hasted. There's a hunting dragon. Gotta be more careful than that. room on my pack I think I'm gonna ditch the teleportation wand this is a re really nice for certain emergencies we could run into but we're gonna quickly have to drop something else on the next floor which might end up being this and I think I'd rather save the consumables um, the regenerating is the other thing we're not we're not using that much of, and then the haste charm. I'd like to keep those for the time being. 
So the next few floors, we probably drop teleportation, maybe use a consumable, then like regen or the plus one, probably regen, then the plus one haste charm. Smack that Kraken. And yeah, we'll drop this Telly Wand. So you'll notice we didn't really use the Invis Wand. We didn't really use the Telly Wand. I guess we haven't used the Poison Staff. And I'm not seeing any more Revenants now, but I should probably hold that thought until we see the next floor. I like to have a lot of these stuff for like these emergencies, but they're often not really necessary. So you can start dropping them as you need room for Lumen Stones. I'm gonna pop this dragon. We're going downstairs. Just to recharge. More food. Look, our, our nutrition <laughs> hasn't even like moved. This build plays so fast. There's all the hastes and blinks. The hastesses. That's a dragon pack. Really quiet left half of the level here. That probably means there's like a big chasm over there. Stone yet. on Ooh. Oh, I think it's because it's grappling we didn't kill it. Set their AI if I just back up to here. Yeah, it's wandering now. I guess I'm just gonna let you wander. Dragons. I should be checking all their mutations. Ooh, Agile. Huh. Especially the dragon catching unaware. It didn't even look like it moved though because the Agile one took its place. Two turns, two dragon kills. It's my style. The Lich Pack.
We have monsters finding secret doors for us with telepathy because they move through it. chance this wakes up if I don't approach it at a diagonal. I'm just gonna blink through. It's infested here. There's an infested golem right there, too. No signs of the Lumen Stone. Hopefully this Lich explores up here pretty well for us. Honestly, mostly because it's a lot of backtracking to go there and come back. More than the dragons, but... Dragons are annoying, too. See, I don't think there was any orthogonal. Orthogonal include diagonals? I might be using the wrong word there. But any straight up, down, left, right tunneling angle that would have gotten us through here, but one diagonal did. Two, slash two blinking one because it's shorter range. Oh, this is... That was a lot of caustic gas. Blink through this again. Now, we are not hasted or invisible right now. We should change that because of this dragon. It's hunting me. Ooh. My stuff is on cooldown. That, uh, that dragon I just killed didn't have a lot of health left. And you can only reap the, like, the health they have. You can't overkill with it.
What, uh, should I go to this side of the map or check this out real quick, I wonder? I'll check this out real quick. We have liches wandering here, which will help us on that side. We have a chasm we could jump down. Perfect. So this is level 36. So we have 37, 38, and 39 left. I think I should just use another telepathy potion here. It's a, we're wasting this bit, but I think we're going to be have plenty of telepathy to go. depth we are hasted and invisible with full charges on everything i'm gonna swap out my awareness ring and just hop down this chasm because i don't know where the downstairs is there's food here we're skipping it because we like just ate yeah telepathy you guys have probably noticed like how nice that's made this build it seems like we could have used it a little bit earlier But we also didn't really need it too bad earlier. Our new floor. The downstairs is probably on the right half. The Lumen Stone could be anywhere, including under one of these enemies, so we're going to check. See anything? So we shall explore. another grappling one. I was like, how did I not kill you? A chasm, thanks to awareness. That could be our way down. Although, so the reason I didn't drop descent on the last floor, we have three descents. And three remaining floors, so I could use a descent potion to to get past all of these floors: 37 to 38, 38 to 39, then 39 to 40. So the stairs or chasms don't even matter. We just find the lumen stones, and then we can get to the next floor using descent potions. Is this like a traffic jam? What's going on here?
traffic jam here, so I'm just going to tunnel around. Although, I need to re-up to invisibility here. I'm going to need a way to recharge, so I should probably pop this golem real quick. Two liches will should reliably recharge us here. We're refreshing Viz too. Ooh, that haste charm did not get filled up at all. But we got two. On the downstair. No sign of the lumen stone yet. No, it's yeah, it's a downstair. side of the map still. Kind of detoured over here for reaping. Oh, I'm not invisible. It's not over here. All right, I want to blink over here. Places the lumen stone can be. We need to check this. So it's just kind of this area. And then down 
here and then like up here. So I wonder if I can tunnel through this. Instead of trying to get past these dudes. And these dudes. I think that's what we want to try to do. Do I get any good blinks here? May as well check this real quick. Okay, so this will get us through. Um, I don't want to get blasted by that dragon, so. Their charms up. yet. Um, I hope this connects. I meant to blink. That was a typo. suppose this works. turns of invis yet, but I can probably walk up to the horror. I should try to blink just to get a little closer. Oh, I wasn't invisible that last turn. I probably could have... I was probably charged after killing the Lich, too. Oh, there it is. I was like, man, can't find this thing. Is that a secret door? Or I just not look up there. All right, well, we have our target. Let's get away from these dragons before my invisibility runs out. Actually, let's... Oh, uh, okay. I can't hurt Revenant, so I need to try and blink past this dude. Um, I'll take opportunity to hit that one. I need to re-up. drop a potion of descent for this one.
Glad that Lich followed me because I was not going to have my buffs up and I basically like I would have either had to jump down this chasm not invisible or I could jump down invisible but I would have to really find an enemy fast to recharge my charms. Okay, so we got the Lumen Stone in inventory. Hop down. Okay, no Lumen Stone yet. I think I would like to immediately blink away. Let me just get space from this huge mass of enemies. Pop Awareness, I'm actually, I'll search a couple times. So let's pop haste. We're gonna buff some dragons. We probably don't have to because I can buff this dude. I don't really know what side I want to explore first. I guess I'll go to the right. So I hit that guy, and this dragon woke up, even though I was invisible and attacked me. Oh, here's the Lumen Stone. Perfect. All right. We know where we're going. Huh. Would have sucked if I fell down that trap. I need to recharge my blinking. Oh, showdown on the bridge. Let's go. Bring it, dragon. Epic. That, that, that was like one of those moments... I feel like I don't get these that much because I, I look at these games pretty analytically, but people talk about they like playing ASCII games better than ones with graphics because you get to like picture stuff in your head. Like just picturing someone showing down with a dragon on a bridge over a chasm surrounded by like brimstone and like tons of dangerous enemies. And like the bottom level of the dungeon feels pretty epic. Good stuff.
so that guy stopped going the way he was going because of the steam. Which meant I didn't have time to put on my reefing ring. This is a tunneling moment for sure. before hitting the golem. It's fine though. It's fine. I'm just gonna have to use this last telepathy potion. We only have one more floor where we really needed it. ourselves up to get everything recharged and re-upped before I go down to the next floor here. weird sometimes they swap places with enemies behind them and sometimes they don't i assumed that he swapped places and i'd be able to just back up but that didn't work that time get away from me let me bop this guy everything's recharged honestly instead of walking over here i think we just use descent Phylacteries are such teases because they look so much like lumen stones. Look at this dragon in this cozy nook with some crystal. I would sleep there. Rather sleep though on a pile of lumen stones, or I guess in this case, one lumen stone. Where's that dragon? It looks like we do not know where it's at. Where am I at? We're down here. I guess we have a pretty clear route. I got hunting because he came out of his phylactery even though we've never been near him and I think because I'm like a knight's move away I guess it's within two tiles so he was allowed to cast bullshit though calling it telling it like it is that was BS I think I need to submit that as a bug report actually I, I, I mentioned that, but I don't think I knew if it was actually possible or not, but that kind of proves it. Okay, I need to... recharge my, my stuff. Okay, stuff charged. I'm not even gonna worry about the phylactery. I'm just gonna 
Keep moving. We, we have one more Lumen Stone to go. We're so close. Or two more Lumen Stones, but one more on this floor. The one on D40 is pretty much free. that but here we are let's see i want to do that perfect there it is Oh, that's a tough lumen stone to get to. Look at this. Is there a way through? I mean, we can tunnel. It might be tough without be like having like a pack of golems down here. Hmm. Where are the stairs? We want to go downstairs and then come back up. The stairs are probably over here somewhere. So I have the descent potion. Let's go ahead and do that. I was going to use this potion to flex by drinking on D40, but let's actually get some utility out of it. There aren't traps down here, so I may as well put regen on. Here we are, D40. Last level of the dungeon. Ooh, Warden, you came up fast. Alright, there's the exit. So we need one more Lumen Stone from D39. Drop this one. I have room for both of them, but I just want to have have them be in order. I'm OCD about that. All right, we should buff before going up here. I'd be really surprised if there weren't enemies nearby. Oh, this is perfect. This is freaking perfect. What a play. What a play. Using the descent and coming back up. Put us right next to the Lumen Stone. Oh, this guy's agile. I was like, why is he moving so fast? It's actually a problem. Can I hit you? I'm not gonna die to an agile freaking horror right now. What do I do? Yeah, worse could defeat you in two hits. So if I hit this guy and he doesn't get knocked back, he hits me twice, I potentially die. We're not messing with that. this does mean is I'm not going to have invisibility in a minute.
There we go. All right, let's get out of here. Nothing could have followed me down, yeah. It's fine. I don't know where we're at now. Oops, it's because I didn't eat my food. We hardly use any nutrition. Voila! 25 Lumen Stone Mastery with a Weekend Contest 500 seed. A Warhammer Reaping Invisibility build. Pretty damn clean. The scariest moment was back on the very first floor, D27, I think, when that dragon hit us from out of line of sight. Good stuff. GG, guys. I don't have anything else to say about this. That was fun. The only things we really used a lot of was Warhammer, Reaping... I was using both blinking staves, but we could have gotten by with the 1-4 one. Tunneling was nice, but probably not absolutely necessary. We definitely used it a lot here, though. Um, reaping, obviously, was very important. So let me put awareness on. I feel like we were using that more. So awareness was huge. Stepped on, like, one or two traps that whole time. That confusion trap was a little annoying. And then these three charms were really useful. I think we could have gotten by with a 1 plus 3 haste charm instead of a plus 2 and a plus 1. It would have been better, actually. So, this build doesn't actually need a whole lot to work, but um, you need some, like... It's hard to get all these items and then have enough enchants. Well, we only had 13 enchant scrolls on this seed. We put 9 into the Warhammer. And 4 into Invis. So we got lucky getting a plus four and a plus two reaping ring. I don't even want to call it lucky. It just happened, but that was like, it was fortunate that we found those because we didn't need to put a chance into them. Because if I didn't get those and I get like a plus three Warhammer, it would be pretty common. But that's what kind of made up for us having low enchants on this seed. Low-ish, 13 isn't that low. And actually there was another one, but I missed it. Awesome, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I have another 25 Lumen Sun Mastery saved um, in my YouTube channel. It is for a clairvoyance, or no, it was an obstruction tunneling build. A wisdomless, rechargeless one, which is a pretty cool twist on it. And that one's pretty tedious. This one was a lot of fun. So that's awesome, and I'm gonna, I'm going to try for a repeat on this next time I play Brogue. There's another seed that has a setup similar to this. All, all I know is that you can get this build on it, so I'm going to try that as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you guys want to see more content like this, just let me know. Um, and do subscribe to the YouTube and leave a com comments and all that good stuff. You can be doing this. And check out the Ascension Road podcast. I just put up a new episode about Roguelike Celebration. Good stuff there. Find us on Discord. And find us on Twitch. All those links are below, but thank you so much for hanging out, guys. This has been so much fun, and I'll see you guys for the next video.